Hello, my name is JC Soto and I am a nationally board certified hearing instrument specialist and the founder of Altamont Family Hearing. We're a local audiology practice in Altamont Springs, Florida. Today I'd like to explain the different types of hearing losses and how they can affect you. I'd like to begin uh, by explaining that at Altamont Family Hearing, we provide free hearing evaluations. These hearing evaluations are gonna give us the information so that we could diagnose and treat your hearing loss. The hearing evaluation is not just to find out if you need hearing aids. We're looking at how your hearing system is functioning and whether or not you should be referred to an ear, nose, and throat specialist. The first type of hearing loss that I'd like to explain is a sensory neural hearing loss. 92% of individuals with hearing loss experience sensory neural hearing loss. What that means is that their auditory nerve is slowly starting to decay, most commonly found in the aging process known as presbycusis, but also found with those that have been exposed to traumatic noise levels, whether in the workplace, military, and etc. Their hearing loss is also hereditary. We do find uh, patients that have had a congenital hearing loss or over time have a faster progressing loss than others. In our hearing evaluation appointment, what we're looking for is to see if there is a gap between where the patient is responding at the eardrum level and at the cochlear level. If both are within normal limits, typically 15 decibels within one another, then the patient is experiencing a sensory neural hearing loss and hearing aids may be a great recommendation for them to hear the sounds that they are otherwise missing. The second most common type of hearing loss is considered a mixed loss. This is when the cochlea, which is our inner ear nerve, is starting to decay, but there is a difference between where the cochlea is responding and our eardrum. Typically when we see an air bone gap, meaning that there is a difference between both, we're referring those patients out to an ear, nose, and throat specialist or their primary care physician to make sure that their hearing system is functioning properly. Lastly, the least common type of hearing loss that we see is considered a conductive hearing loss. A conductive hearing loss means that the inner ear, the cochlea, is responding within normal limits. However, when we place the sound in the eardrum, we're seeing that there is a significant gap, meaning that the sound is not making it to the inner ear nerve. This is a major red flag and one that would warrant an immediate referral to ear, nose, and throat or to the emergency room. Hearing loss affects over 48 million Americans and one in three over the age of 65 experience some degree of hearing loss. Most have not had their hearing evaluation and that is why we're making these videos to educate our community and let them know that it is completely free to come in, have a hearing evaluation and find out if there is help available for you. If you or a loved one is experiencing hearing loss, feel free to give us a call at 407-949-6737 to schedule your free hearing evaluation appointment today. Thank you.